Welcome to lesson eight of exercise one. Here we're going to continue working again with the grocery store class that we've been working with. Here we're going to modify the code from the previous exercise so that the gross revenue method in the grocery store class calculates the revenue and returns the answer, notice returns the answer to the caller. In other words, uh, we don't want to have the method print the answer to the screen. It should just calculate the answer and return it to the calling place in the main method. And once we have this arrangement in place, use it to calculate the gross revenue of all three stores and print the results to the screen. So basically in the previous exercise for lesson seven, the way we had it set up is the method that was part of the class down here, the grocery store class, it calculated the revenue of the store and it printed it directly to the screen. So up above when we were calling these methods, we said something like Houston store, and then it prints the revenue of the Houston store, which is done inside the method print the Seattle store and then it prints the revenue from the Seattle store which is calculated and printed so the print statement is inside of the revenue method down there here we're trying to um, give you an understanding that you can return the value from a method so let's go down below and look at how I've altered the grocery store class we still have our uh, member variables here is our gross revenue method all right we still have this uh, local variable here and we have the revenue calculation same as before but instead of printing it to the screen directly we use the return keyword and we're returning the variable called revenue notice I've changed this from void to double so the variable the, uh, uh, the, the thing out in front of the name of the method tells Java what type of uh, variable you plan to return in this case double and notice I've declared this variable revenue as a double and I'm returning that value back to where it's called from. So whatever you return has to be of the type that's sitting out in front here. So I'm calculating it, I'm returning the value. All right, so then up above, I've done a couple of different things. I'm showing you things for variety more than anything up here. Uh, up above, we've created our three objects. We've populated our objects with all of the information we've learned how to do that we've used that many times and then I declare a couple of local variables up here one of them is called revenue Houston revenue Seattle now here in this line when you execute this line what happens is we go to the Houston store object we execute the gross revenue subroutine or method which bounces the code down here and calculates the revenue for the Houston data because we're only operating on the Houston object so the variables here reference the Houston data then when we get down to here the return keyword says return the answer which is the revenue calculation up above and that gets stored into this variable that I have created called revenue Houston so you can think of everything on the right hand side is basically representing a number we go and execute and a number gets passed back up here which then gets stored over here and we do exactly the same thing for Seattle using the gross revenue method in the Seattle store object all right and then we print this out so we say revenue for Houston is dollar sign revenue Houston that's what we just calculated revenue for Seattle is dollar sign revenue Seattle here now I can do the same exact thing for Orlando but I'm I'm gonna show you something a little different here I can just put the print statement revenue for Orlando is dollar sign and instead of calculating it storing it in a local variable and then putting it here I can just put the method directly in the print statement that's something you can always do sometimes I do it sometimes I don't but I'm showing you in this case that it's totally legal to do that it's just whatever your preference is when you see something like this Orlando store dot gross revenue you need to think of it as basically a value, a double variable that's being returned from this method. So whenever we go into the print statement, these are just words between the quotes. And then over here, this is a value that's being passed back from this method that's calculating the gross revenue. And, and that's kind of like almost like a little variable there. Well, it is a variable. It's the revenue that's being passed back from the method there. And so you can dump these guys, these methods directly in the print statements as long as they're returning values. So it's a, it's a characteristic difference between this and the previous example. Let me go ahead and hit run, and we'll see revenue for Houston, 901, 1424 for Seattle, and 62396, which matches with our previous example, which is the last one we did uh, in terms of numbers. This is the one where we calculated it before. So in the lesson seven, we had the print statement down here, and then we basically called that method, and it printed it out inside of the method, uh, here the method is returning a value back and then we're handling the printing up here um, there's no right answer 
in how you set up your class. This is a, a tutorial, so we're trying to show you different ways of doing things. One way is perfectly fine to handle it where you print out the answer to the screen inside of your method, which is inside of your class. In other cases, it's going to make a whole lot more sense to do the calculation and return the value back and handle the printing up here. It really depends on how you have your program logically laid out and depends on your preferences. There's really no right answer. I would think that more likely than not, you would probably calculate the answer and return the value back to the calling statement. That's probably how you would see it most of the time. So make sure you understand this. Your methods and your, um, your uh, code is probably going to look a little different than this, but the bottom line is this is how we want to illustrate that methods, even when they're part of a class definition, can return values. And this is how we would organizationally use it uh, for a real class uh, definition.